sir. Reading you loud and clear. 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 The clock has started. The clock has started. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Another movie, Can't Buy Me Love. Okay, it showed a beta man hanging around a gorgeous woman. So, what was the message? If a beta man hangs around a gorgeous woman and she dresses him up and hangs around him, then all of a sudden he'll become an alpha male. Uh, Does that work? No idea. But that's kind of what that movie showed. And then you have Better Off Dead... If you if you go watch that movie, Better Off Dead, you you find it on Amazon. A guy has a hot girl, okay, but he got the hot girl. An average guy got a hot girl because he did something dangerous, which is skiing. But then she did what some women do today. She used him to get an even more popular guy. So she took him right. And trade it up, as they said. And so that's what happens in Better Off, De- Better Off Dead. You know, the, the main character gets traded up by his girlfriend. And then now he tries to win her back in the movie. Now Weird Science also has uh, these nerds. And they create a beautiful woman. And you can go watch to see what happens. And so they become popular by hanging around a beautiful woman. So in Weird Science... And Can't Buy Me Love. It does have a truth value that women like men who other women like. Women like to have a man that other other women like. So in Better Off, not Better Off, excuse me, in Weird Science and Can't Buy Me Love, they use the, the principle of association. If, if I'm with, if I'm, if I have, if I'm a guy and I have a woman especially to have a hot woman, then I become more attractive to other other women because women say, oh, okay, well, if that woman likes her, likes him, then he must have something. There must be something to him. Now, 16 Candles is also another movie, and 16 Candles is a bit weird because 16 Candles, uh, the main character, the girl... She is the simp version of what guys are like now. Of what a simp guy is right now. She, she's not popular. She's not ugly. But she's not super hot. And she doesn't really have any game. She doesn't really have anything going for her. And this is kind of like the difference between a simp guy and a simp girl. You can have a girl, she, she's probably like a 6 or 7 in looks, okay? So so take a guy who's a 6 and 7 in looks. Not that popular, doesn't have a ton of friends. Um, not a bad guy, he's not, he's, not a, um, he's not a meanie or anything. But doesn't get a lot of attention. That girl, in today's terms, will still get probably more likes and matches online, right, if she were to go into the dating market, than that guy simply because, like some people say, simply because she's a woman. Because she's a woman and men men will, men will you know, lower their standards a little bit if they think, okay, this is a nice woman, meaning she's, she's a kind, sweet woman, okay. I, I, can, I can get an eight, but I'll take a six, if she's super sweet, super nice, super kind, super helpful. Okay, and so that's what Sixteen Candles kind of does. But Sixteen Candles also shows that the a geek guy getting a hot girl, and then a simp girl getting a hot guy. Um, I don't think anybody took that and said, "Oh, I'm a geek now; I can get a hot girl." And see that see that's that's one of the differences that. In today's society, I don't think any guys watch any movie, at least not the ones I mentioned, where, or even like uh, Family Matters, where Steve Urkel. If you watch Family Matters, the last few episodes, Steve Urkel, who's who's the nerd, 
gets a hot girl to chase after. So so most the 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 first episodes he tries to chase Laura Winslow are the first like seasons. I don't think it starts until season three where he starts chasing Laura Winslow, maybe four. And then the last few episodes, he's got this hot girl chasing him. And I don't think any nerdy guy had that problem in high school. I mean, if you, if you did, more power, power to you. But I don't think anybody in big glasses and suspenders, high watering, wearing penny loafers and, you know, white, white socks up to their kneecap got uh, hot girls to chase them. You could have, but... Mm, Doubt it. Okay, and then here's a shout out to Austria D and his channel. So Austria G always talks about how. Well, I'll just I'll just go ahead and read this, but this is married with children. So Bud Bud Bundy is talking to Kelly. He says, "When are you giving? Gonna give up?" I mean, every year you try to marry a basketball player, and every year you just get older, and another crop of girls turn 18. So this is what Austria D says every single time. He's saying every single year another group of girls is turning 18 and legal, and the pretty, pretty women who are pretty now, and between the ages of 18 and 28, they're, they're getting older, and his theory is if a man, if a 30-year-old man has enough confidence to approach a 30-year-old woman who is a 10, then he's got confidence to approach a 20-year-old woman who's a 10 and with no baggage. So you tell me what you think. If you were 30 years old, okay, and you had money and confidence to approach a 30 year old woman okay would you would you approach that 30 year old woman who's a perfect 10 or the 20 year old woman who's a perfect 10 and why so that's going to end it thank you for watching thank you for listening to big girls float better and we will have more soon